Hey, what's going on? This is, uh, we're here. And journalism is dead. And I want to talk about Lamont Peterson. Now, we're coming off a weekend where there was boxing on FS1, part of the PBC program we have going on, thanks to Al Heyman and company. And um, it featured a fight in which would turn out to be Lamont Peterson's last fight as a professional fighter. Uh, Lamont Peterson, a former two-division champion, once at 140 and at 147, went up against the former champion at 140, a former kickboxer. I believe he was 14-1 and one going into this fight, his opponent. His name, Sergei Lebinets, really good fighter. Uh, moving up in weight for the first time, testing the waters. And um, he was coached by Goosen. Um, Lamont, of course, coached by Barry Hunter. And what can I say? It was, um, it was a great fight for as long as it lasted. And we saw Lamont Peterson showcasing the special traits that make him who he is as a fighter, as a person. Uh, fighting inside, fighting inside the trenches when he didn't really necessarily had to, when he had the length and uh, hand speed advantage, and I'll even say footwork to fight from the outside or to fight um, on the inside in spots and in moments, get some shots in, pivot, move, uh, use angles, use defense, but Lamont wanted to uh, put on a show in front of his hometown fans because they did fight in D.C. in um, the DMC area. I'm sorry, DMV area, excuse me. And, um, I mean, again, it was a good fight as long as it lasted. Uh, Sergey Lipinets took some outstanding shots to the body, and in turn, he showed a lot of grit being able to fight through those uh, tough shots and to stay consistent with the things he was trying to do. Uh, landing that right hand, it seemed that will once the, once they approached the middle rounds. And um, it was a great fight for the fans. Leading into the fight, Lamont Peterson had mentioned um, if he did not win or if he didn't look the way he wanted to look or perform the way he wanted to perform, then he would uh, consider hanging up the gloves and retiring and um, as we saw with him losing last Sunday that is indeed the choice he decided to make as he uh, in his post-fight interview actually retired on the spot and showed class and uh, tremendous heart uh, having to not, not having to go out there and thank the fans and to retire like that on the spot so um Again, he showed he was a, a classy fighter, classy person, and when you think of respect and how to carry yourself as a person, I think Lamont Peterson exemplifies the example that we, sh we should all follow. Never want to make excuses, always uh, willing to fight the best when it comes to being a professional, showing professionalism, and he had mentioned in an interview leading up to the fight, and he probably mentioned it in interviews after the fight, whether he was a janitor or a zookeeper or whichever the profession is, he's going to always exalt professionalism and do what he has to do as far as being there on time, showing up for work, being consistent, whichever the case may be. So um, I just wanted to pay respects to Lamont Peterson I've been a fan of his for his entire career. Um, watching him fight the likes of Lucas Matisse, who was a guy, a monster at 140, who was a boogeyman for a moment, but he went in there and fought Matisse. He didn't win, but he showed a lot of heart in that fight. Uh, fighting guys like Victor Ortiz before Victor ended up making his way to Floyd Mayweather. And before he made his way to Andre Berto, Lamont Peterson fought him first. Had a controversial draw. I thought Lamont actually won that fight. Um, Lamont Peterson also fought Danny Garcia. Uh, he fought Garcia really well. Um, thought he did enough to win that fight. He lost a close decision. Um, you know, Lamont, he, he's 
pretty much been in there with any and everybody. I mean, he was probably going to get a fight against Keith Thurman at one point. He fought another boogeyman at 147. He fought mm, against Errol Spence and ended up losing due to stoppage, uh, due to Barry Hunter throwing in the towel. And um, even when he fought Lippinets this past weekend, he got hurt badly from a right hand in the seventh round, but he kept pushing on. And even when the fight was stopped, he got hurt and got knocked down and dropped bad. But you can see that that warrior's heart, that warrior's mentality, he was able to instantly get back up and he didn't know where he was. You know, he got hit so hard and fell so hard and was concussed. He was, probably thought he was, shit, probably in California or something. But because he is that warrior, he has to be protected. That That's when the trainer has to step in that's when management and the people who care about you people advising you that's when they step in and they make those tough decisions for you as far as whether to continue the fight or whether to continue fighting in general with your career as a professional so um again i think barry hunter who is more than just a trainer to lamont he's a father figure as it's well documented he um embraced and adopted lamont peterson along with his brother his younger brother, Anthony Peterson. And, um, you know, that's a father figure to him. So, of course, you know, being a father in general can be tough. But being a father, the father of a fighter, and coaching, training your fighter, your son, that's hard because you got to find that fine line between the competitiveness of the sport, the nature of the sport, and which is you have to be disciplined at all times, and it really is a lifestyle. You have to have that warrior mentality. It's, it's a it's a matter of finding that line and um, looking out for your son, removing him from that aspect, and looking out for your son, looking out for his well being to make sure that he is, you know, being protected. Because you're the father, you want you want your children you want your children to do well, you want your children to be safe. So, um, you know, hats off to Barry Hunter. He carries himself as a remarkable role model, trainer, father. And again, we see that with Lamont Peterson with his professionalism. So, um, you know, post-career, I'm not sure what Lamont will do, but he strikes me as someone who, uh, you know, made smart investments, took care of his money, saved his money. I know he has a, a daughter. I'm not sure if he has a, other children, but I'm sure he'll invest more time into raising his family. And um, I can I can definitely see him as a trainer uh, or having some kind of capacity in the sport of boxing. So we'll see what happens, but it was great career for Lamont. I just wanted to touch in on that and give him his respect, pay him, pay him respect, pay him homage, and um, you know, it's on to the next one.